Hello, my name is Randy Scrapper, and I'm a Principal Product Success Architect here at ServiceNow. Today, I'm going to be demoing sourcing a request through a purchase order. We will quickly review the use case and show you where it fits into the SAM process guide before jumping into a demo. Asset management can be made easier by the ability to quickly generate a PO for required assets. Assets managers can also set up vendor catalog items for specific models, which can include multiple items. By doing so, fulfillers can choose from a list of options for procurement. It is important to note that a vendor catalog items are model specific. This feature provides flexibility and allows for an expedited procurement process for necessary assets. Section 3.0 of the SAM process guide highlights this process to acquire software entitlement. As per the process, the requests are submitted to the software asset manager admin who generates the PO request. The procurement management or staff works to generate the PO to make the purchase. Once the item is received, it will be marked as reserved and allocated for the requested user. Just a reminder, the SAM process guide can be found on Now Create. Now let's jump into the demo. All right, now let's jump into the instance and we'll take a look at another request and we'll, we'll uh, look at this request and we'll try to procure this request through a purchase order this time. So we'll go ahead and look at uh, this request for uh, Ben Mills uh, ending in 4-7. By looking at this request, we see that uh, Ben is requesting a Dreamweaver license we see that the, the stage is in fulfillment uh, and so it needs to be sourced. The ca there's a catalog task that is created uh, and it is sourcing that, uh, that item. It goes to the procurement team. So the procurement team will come into the uh, service catalog task. They will open this up. They'll see that this uh, asset or item needs to be sourced uh, for the request. So we'll go ahead and source this request. Now, we see uh, that there are 73 available rights and as well as we can order a PO from a vendor. Um, you, as the asset manager, know that these 73 rights um, might be already uh, uh, pre-spoken for or reserved and you actually need to uh, order this one. So we're gonna order this one through a purchase order. So we know we need to order it through a purchase order. So we're going to head and put purchase, a vendor purchase. Now, um, this allows the fulfiller to start a purchase order, or we call it a purchase request. It is a shell of the request um, that will get the process started to purchase the necessary items that are, that are needed. However, so when the fulfiller comes in here, they'll be able to choose a vendor. If you select, if you're able to add multiple vendor catalog items to the software model, uh, this allows the fulfiller to have a selection on where to you know, buy the next uh, licenses from. You know, we see here that there are you know, uh, one from Adobe Systems or at 60, one at uh, Another one for Adobe Systems for 125, and you know CDW is coming in a little high at uh, uh, you know 155. So we're going to just kind of pick one. Well, they'll ask us the license metric. So yeah, we know it's Adobe. We know it's uh, per user. So we'll go ahead and click that in there, and we'll put the destination. We'll put a local stock room because everything that we receive in order needs to come into a stock room. So we'll go ahead and pick out the the East stock room that, uh, that we're in charge of. So we'll go ahead and click this and hit submit.
and we jump back into the 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 request now from the request we see that the uh, catalog task for the procurement is closed and we do see that there's a purchase order that has been purchased so let's just jump into this purchase order And we see it from this purchase order, it's a generic PO that from the service now. Now, what we tend to see, or I tend to see, is a lot of swivel chairs happening in the initial stages of implementation of uh, you know, your ServiceNow instance. So, uh, for example, you would not have an, uh, an integration with your ERP system yet, so you'll be swivel chairing from you know, ServiceNow to the procurement system until you make that integration set up. Uh, but here we see from this, uh, this uh, PO, we see down here on the PO line items that we are ordering a Dreamweaver license and it is requested. If we needed to put in some additional information, you can. So let's just go ahead and just order this. So it is on order. We see that it is on ordered and we'll go ahead and receive this. So as it comes in, the asset managers will be receiving them. They will be putting an asset tag on there if, 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 if it needs to, if that's uh, something that your company does is put asset tags or a uh, generic asset tag so you can able to find some of these entitlements a little bit easier. And then you're gonna hit submit. Now this is creating one uh, right for Dreamweaver. All right, so we're looking at the purchase order. We see that is received. Uh, there is one asset down here um, that was received. It was on a it was on a request, and that Ben Mills was that place to receive it. So it was our, now it's already assigned to Ben uh, and the state is in use. Uh, again, with the one you receive, you will do have a receiving slip to kind of give you that, uh, it, the, that uh, notification when it was received, who it was received in and what stock room it was received in. So let's jump back into the, the, re the request. So we're back at the request. We see that the PO has been in uh, and received. And so we can go over to the catalog, uh, the requested items. And we see at this stage, uh, it was at fulfillment, it was ordered. It we were waiting delivery. It has come in. So the part has, or the asset piece of software has come in and is waiting to be configured uh, and given out deployed to the end user. So at this time, we'll jump back into the, uh, the rhythm where we uh, will go through the different tasks in the configuration stage, where the first stage is the field services uh, technician. We'll go in and, and get the, the, that piece of hardware and software and kind of test it to make sure it is working properly. And then they'll close that ticket. They'll get another ticket to actually deliver it to the customer. So this is when uh, the field service person would then work with the customer to find a good time to uh, install the software or deploy the asset to the, um, the user. And then they'll go ahead and close the ticket. We'll see that the rhythm is now closed as well as the request. So from this request, we see that it a requested item was came in for Dreamweaver. It was sourced through a PO, right? And we have the PO number here. The PO was received and assigned to Ben Mills. We then went through the rest of the catalog tasks in, on the rhythm to uh, test the piece of software and then deploy it to the end user. This is how you would source a uh, piece of software or hardware through a PO. As always, 
Uh, you can find more information on the product doc site as well as the now create site uh, where you can find the process guide. Thank you very much for joining us this session. Look forward to you in the future. Bye-bye.